morning, everybody. How do you feel? Oh, oh, oh. Today? Say it loud so you can hear how you feel. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you for saying how you feel. My name is Mr. Channing. Would you like to read a book with me today? I've got a book I'd like to read with you. Are you ready? This book is called One, Two, Three. Whoop. <laughs> One of a Kind Like Me. Written by Lauren Mayano, illustrated by Robert Lou Trujillo. What do you see here on the cover? I see this kid holding up a picture, and on this picture, I see, looks like a princess wearing a beautiful purple gown and a silver crown. Hmm. What a wonderful outfit. Would you like to read this book with me? Let's do it. One of a Kind Like Me, published by Blood Orange Press, right here in Oakland, California. What do we see? Looks like a family sitting at the table. I see this is mom. And we're going to find out this is cousin. And this is grandpa. The grandpa's drinking some coffee, looking at a newspaper or a magazine. Mm -hmm. And this kid is drawing. What's this kid drawing? I think we're going to find out. Oh, my, said mommy. Tomorrow is the school parade, and you still don't have a costume. Oh, the school's doing a parade where everybody dresses up in a costume. But this kid still doesn't have one. Hmm. Danny drew wavy lines with his purple marker. I know what I'm going to be, he said. Cousin Carmelita watched him licking gooey banana from her fingers. Hmm. They're looking at the picture. Hmm, says Grandpa. A wizard in long purple robes? Danny colored between the lines. Nope. I know, said Mommy. A flying acrobat with purple tights. Oh, an acrobat, someone who swings from a trapeze in a circus. Hmm. Danny drew faster, and the purple waves danced to life. Nope. Well, don't keep us guessing, said Grandpa. Danny smiled. He picked up his silver pencil and added one last touch. I'm going to be a princess, just like her. Everyone stopped what they were doing and looked at Danny's princess. She wore a purple dress with round, puffy sleeves and ruffles all the way down to her toes. Her crown was shiny silver. Just like the drawing we saw on the front. Mm-hmm. So this kid, Danny, is a boy who wants to be a princess for a costume. He wants to dress up like a princess. Hmm. Now the problem is, he does not have a princess costume, so he's got to go find one right away. You think he's going to be able to do it? Let's find out. Oh, princessa, cooed Carmelita. Are you sure that's what you want? Asked Mommy. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Let's go find your princess dress. Carmelita clapped her sticky hands. Slap, 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 slap. Can you hear that banana clapping between her hands? <laughs> Grandpa winked. He said, try Nifty Thrifty. They have everything. Danny folded his picture and stuffed it into his pocket. So, Grandpa, Carmelita are staying home. Mom and Danny are heading out. What else do you see here? I see a little box here for umbrellas. I see a place here where everybody puts their shoes when they come inside. We have something like that in our house. Do you have something like that in your house? Some people do. Some people have a place to put your shoes when you come inside so you don't track dirt around. Some other people have different rules about shoes. Hmm. Everybody does things a little bit differently when it comes to clothes. Now, what kind of store is this Nifty Thrifty? Nifty Thrifty was what's called a thrift store or a second-hand store clothes that someone else used to have they didn't want anymore and now they are available for sale here and they are much cheaper than they used to be and you can find a lot of things that you might not find in another store in a million years 
You know what I mean? But you have to be able to look for it. I used to work at a store like this a long time ago. It was a lot of fun seeing all the clothes and talking to all the people. When they walked into the store, their eyes popped wide open. This place looks like a giant closet exploded, said Danny. Mommy stood and stared. How will we find anything in all this? Hmm, that's a good question. I bet they do not have a princess dress section. They might, but they might not. Danny took her hand. Look for purple. We'll find it. Oh, that's a good tip. He knows exactly what color he wants, so we can just look for the color. Let's see, do you see any purple on this page? There's a little bit of purple right there. There's a little bit of purple right there. And here. Here. Mm, don't see any. Isn't that sort of lavender? <gasps> there is something purple. Mm -hmm. Anything here? Oh, there's some purple. There's some purple. All right, let's start looking. In the first aisle, Danny spotted a bin with hats, masks, and animal ears. Just all jumbled up together. He dug through the bin and uncovered a sparkly silver crown. Poof. It fit him just right. Oh, wonderful. Yippee, he said. Now for the dress. He's got that first part already. That was fast. In aisle two, Danny looked from side to side, up and down, but there was no purple princess dress. In aisle three, a twinkle of purple shone from behind the belts, out slithered a shiny purple necktie. I know we'll find my dress soon, said Danny. He searched two more aisles and still there was no purple princess dress. Where could it be? That's a tough question, because when you go into a store like this, you can't just say, I want this one specific thing. You gotta look for it. There's something different in there every day. Mm -hmm. Depends on what people brought in. In aisle six, a flash of purple peeked out from a swirl of colors on a rack overhead. Could this be his dress? Then he reached up and pulled. Mm. Ah. Oof. And clothes fell, <laughs> raining all around him. A purple robe landed on his head. A wizard could wear this, he said, but not a princess. Mm. In aisle seven, Danny saw a big purple blob bulging from a shelf. Could this be his dress? Mm hmm? Standing on his tippy toes, whoop, Danny stretched as far as he could. But the blob was just out of reach. He jumped up as high as he could and barely hooked it with his fingertips. Ooh, <clears throat> that purple thing fell, <clears throat> opening up in a sea of ruffles. Danny's mouth dropped open, but it wasn't a princess dress. What is it? He asked. It must be a shower curtain, said Mommy. Danny stared at the ruffles. His shoulders drooped. I was sure this was my dress, he said. Mommy stuffed the curtain back onto the shelf. Hmm. Let's keep looking. When they got to the last aisle, they still hadn't found Danny's dress. A speck of purple glimmered from the bottom of a huge mountain of odds and ends. Could this be his dress? Danny gave a tug and something purple and shimmery appeared. He yanked it some more, and out it came, but... It's leggings, said Danny. I'm sorry, Miho. There's nowhere else to look. Danny clenched his fist, but my dress is here. I just know it. A crackling sound came from above, <laughs> and then a tinny voice. The store is closing in five minutes. Please bring your purchases to the register. That's what it sounds like over the intercom, you know. Danny's chin dropped down to his chest. Oh, well, I guess I'll be a flying acrobat. He left the crown on a nearby table. Oh, he found that crown. It seemed like he was going to find the rest of it. He trudged towards the checkout counter with the leggings. 
How does he feel? Disappointed? Sad? He had a really good idea. He drew a picture of it. He knew exactly what he wanted, but he couldn't get it to come together. Hmm. Have you ever felt like that? You worked really hard to try to do something, and then it just still didn't work, and it, you knew things were not going to be exactly like how you wanted. Hmm. Mommy handed the leggings to the cashier. Danny sighed. He pulled out his picture and looked at his princess. Hmm. The purple ruffles reminded him of something. What was it? Wait, he said. My dress is here. Really? Did you see his dress? Danny stuffed the picture back in his pocket and raced over to aisle seven. He leapt for the shower curtain and caught it as it fell. <laughs> Look, here's the bottom half, he said, wrapping it around his waist. Oh, Mommy caught up to him. Why didn't I think of that? Will you help me make it? Asked Danny. Of course I will. Mommy trailed behind Danny as he ran to get his crown. So he's got the crown, he's got the skirt. What else does he need? They hurried to aisle six. And Danny nabbed the purple robe. We can use this for the top half, he said. Brilliant, said Mommy. They rushed to aisle three. The store's closing in five minutes, they gotta hurry. To grab the purple necktie and then made their way to the checkout counter. Whew. They got everything. He came up with a new plan. When Danny and Mommy got home, they got right to work cutting and sewing. Your dress will be one of a kind, said Mommy. Just like me, said Danny. Just like you. Now what do you see them doing here? They have this very long shower curtain and they have to turn it into the bottom half of a dress, into the skirt part of a dress. So they have, what is this? A measuring tape. So they're going to measure it, and then measure Danny's waist, find out what size it needs to be, and then cut it and sew it. Oh, if you know how to cut things and sew things, you can do a lot. You can make your clothes fit just like how you want them, you can even take things that are not clothes, like a shower curtain, and make them into clothes. Ooh, there's a lot of power in being able to cut and sew clothes. Do you know someone who's very good at sewing? Hmm, mm-hmm. At school the next morning, Danny couldn't keep his eyes off the clock. Every time he looked, the hands had only barely moved. You know how he feels? When time goes real slow because you're so excited. Hmm. Finally, Ms. Kaloka stood up. Time to get ready for the parade. Danny jumped out of his seat and dashed over to his cubby. He grabbed his backpack and pulled out his big, fluffy, purple princess dress. Whose dress is that? Asked Ms. Kaloka. It's mine, said Danny. Mommy helped me make it. Wow, that's fantastic, she said. She helped Danny wriggle into the dress and tie the purple necktie into a bow around his waist. What else do you see here? I see, looks like this is inside the school. Mm -hmm. I see numbers here. Mm -hmm. I see names here with people's cubbies. I see some planets. Danny pulled out his shiny silver crown and stood up tall while Ms. Kaloka placed it on his head. Boop. Now I'm a princess, he said. Yes, you are, said Ms. Kaloka, adjusting his crown so it sat just right. A thank you, said Danny with a smile that stretched clear across his face. How does he feel? Looks like he feels very proud. 
you put a lot of hard work into this costume. You put a lot of thinking into how to make this costume work. He put a lot of imagination into thinking about what he wanted this costume to look like. And it all came together. Wonderful. Danny skipped out to find his friends and nearly skipped right into a giant octopus. <laughs> Hello, Danny, said the octopus, blowing a stream of bubbles. Hi, Christina, said Danny. Natasha landed nearby, spreading her a butterfly wings. Carlos waddled over, dressed as a big, round pineapple. That's a good costume. Being a big pineapple, that sounds like a lot of fun. Hmm. A pineapple said, I've never seen a boy princess before. Ooh. It sounds like the pineapple does not mean that as a nice thing. It sounds like the pineapple is kind of trying to be mean. A mean pineapple. Who ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> how does Danny feel about that? You know he worked real hard on this costume. You saw how hard he worked. And now someone's making fun of him? One of his friends? What's he going to do? Carlos says, I've never seen a boy princess before. Me neither said the butterfly. Danny crossed his arms, making his sleeves puff out even more. And he says, well, I've never seen a walking pineapple or a talking butterfly. Oh, that's a good point. Carlos tried to cross his arms, but his big round pineapple suit got in the way. He frowned. Can you imagine crossing your arms where you have like a giant pineapple body? Is it about to go go like this. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the octopus blew some bubbles. The butterfly flapped her wings. The princess curtsied. I guess we're all one of a kind, said Danny. And the pineapple's frown turned into a smile. That's us, one of a kind. Danny twirled, watching the purple ruffles dance around him. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Looks like a lot of fun. And that's the end. Should we say the end? But there's a photo here at the back. Did you know this is a true story? The author who wrote this, she wrote it about her son. You want to see a picture of him with his princess dress from when he was a kid? Here he is. He's got a crown, and a purple dress. Oh, it looks like he's got a scepter as well. That's a very important part of a princess costume. And here he is, all grown up. And there's his mom who wrote the book. <laughs> the end. Thank you for reading this book with me. Give yourself a round of applause. Now, sometimes when I read this book with kids, they'll say, a boy can't be a princess. And then after we read the book, I'll ask them, do you think a boy can be a princess now? And sometimes they say, yeah. Sometimes they say no. Sometimes they say maybe. I think what's important is to remember that you are the boss of your own body. You are the boss of the clothes you wear. And other people are the boss of their body. And they're the boss of the clothes that they wear. There's a lot of different clothes in the world, and there's a lot of different people in the world. And all the people that we know are one of a kind. They're going to wear the clothes they want to wear. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Should we sing a song to wash our hands before we say goodbye? Important to wash your hands. Treat yourself like you matter. You know what I mean? Get some soap. Get some water. Get some bubbles going, turn the water off. And one, two, three, four. I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to be clean. I protect my friends and family. Look at these hands. I'm a washing machine. I'm a washing machine. I'm a washing machine. 
And my nails look good. Rinse off that soap. Turn the water off. Dry your hands. Very nice. I'll see you next time.